Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Cuber and thank you so much for clicking on to the video. If you're brand new here to the channel, please make sure to go ahead and drop uh, that subscription as well as click the notification bell. I would absolutely appreciate it. As you can tell, we're actually playing on the uh, PTR right now, which is actually pretty insane. Please let me know what you guys think in the comments, but also make sure to go ahead and drop a like on the video and uh, join my Discord, guys. We're trying to get up to 500 members, though I said just a few times here, uh, but make sure to go ahead and do that. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you do enjoy the video. Hey, what's going on, everyone? My name is Cuber, and would you believe it, man? The PTR does have attachments. They've had it for about a few days now, so if you guys haven't went ahead and checked out the PTR, the link will be in the description for you to go ahead and click on it and try it out for yourself, but just kind of looking through some of the weapons here. I have played on it just a little tiny bit, just to kind of get an overall feel for the new map that's both being released and the attachments, of course. So uh, let's go ahead and just check it out, man. I tried to rock just the uh, standard AK-47. I wanted to see how well it felt, so the uh, they now have this menu with attachments, as you can see, or you can click attachments from this perspective which is actually makes it a little bit easier for be or to be able to navigate and find it we go ahead and click on attachments you'll notice we have two attachments that are readily available now they have mentioned that they are going to add more attachments as time goes on but i think at least we're going to be certified that we are going to get an optic as well as a laser but i believe by the time i think on august 7th is when the update's going to be released i think by that point wait can i shine the laser in your eyes oh it's so hard Anyways, long story short, uh, they're going to have attachments. Um, they will have a little bit more as well, come to find out. But you'll notice here we have five slots. So I, I'm assuming they're planning to have kind of a barrel as well and, and some stock, stuff like that. So it's going to be cool. Um, also, one thing to notice with this update is that they have actually increased recoil for basically all the guns. So that it would actually incentivize you to actually use an attachment. But if we go ahead and look at the optics now, you'll, you have the same reflex Cobra and Coyote sight as you would normally always have. That's That they've always had for that matter. You also have the holographic sight and the hybrid canted sight. The hybrid canted side is exactly how it sounds. You can see that it actually has a uh, canted side on the right hand side, but it's a scope there, so that's pretty neat. You can also put on some lasers. They don't really have pros or they don't really have cons. They actually do have a flashlight as well if you want to, you know, f you know, trigger that bad boy on. But I don't really know uh, what to really use a flashlight for in this context. But if we just go ahead and just jump straight into the game to see how well it feels here. So look at this, man. You have this very blinding laser with maybe the flashlight. So I I'm assuming maybe the flashlight's supposed to kind of not necessarily stun the enemy, but maybe like get in their face. Uh, dude, what is this actually? Oh my gosh, it feels super sluggish. Oh, that felt weird, dude. It definitely feels interesting scoping in. I think there's definitely a huge magnification applied right now. And it definitely feels kind of weird scoping in. Like, it feels like, it, it, I don't know, just weird to maneuver. Maybe not, though. I don't know. What do you guys actually, if you if you have played on this, what do you guys actually think about the PTR? Go ahead and leave it down in the comments below. You know, what do you like? What are some joint of the, so what are some of the changes? What are some of the changes you don't like, right? Let's go ahead and switch over. You can press F to switch over to the canted site instead. You can actually do it while mid-shooting as well, I believe. So if you can switch over, F. Oh, wait. Oh, shoot. Wrong button. But, like, here, I'll go ahead and show it to you just in a second here. So, we'll, we're going to go ahead and use the canted sight for this. This guy, maybe this guy up here as well. Got him really quick. It honestly feels a lot smoother. I will admit. Like, it actually does. Who is this guy? Okay. So, if we're shooting and then we press F, we can actually navigate directly over to the scope. It's actually pretty neat. There, uh, one of the more notable changes for this PTR as well is that they've actually introduced, like, a lot of changes to the snipers themselves. So, let's just, let's just attach the Mosin, for example. And I will get to this bad boy in a second. But let's go ahead and go right over to the sniper rifles and let's go ahead and, and use the Mosin or even the Sako. Let's actually do the Sako first. So let's go ahead and equip that bad boy. Let's go ahead and put on, uh, nope, not attack or not customized. Let's go ahead and put on some attachments here. So like I said, you can actually put like a regular scope on this. So let's just say the Coyote site as well as a laser. Dude, just to throw it on there, we'll just do the tactical laser. Not that it really matters, but let's go ahead and just dive right in here. Is that guy way off in the distance? Can I get him? Hit marker. Okay, well, then he started moving. There's that guy down there. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the uh, Coyote site. Maybe I'll put on the other magnified one. Wait, that wasn't a headshot, though? Got him right quick. Uh, there's actually going to be a guy over there. I really want to barrel stuff someone. Just kind of throw my uh, rifle into their face and shoot. Just see how well and how accurate it is. Oh, I almost didn't get that guy. Jeez. I was literally aiming for the guy way off in the background. Oh, I still missed it. Yo, it, it seems like the Mosin is definitely something to check out. So let me go ahead and throw on the Mosin here. So you actually can't put attachments on the uh, DSR either. Oof. So I don't know if they made any changes to that, but I like the DSR the way it is, but I don't know, man. Uh, let me go ahead and use the Mosin. Like I said before, let's go ahead and put on an optic on it. Let's just put like the, I don't know, like the hybrid site, maybe the Coyote. I don't even know. I guess like the Coyote. I'll go ahead and put that one on. Or not the Coyote, but the hybrid Canton site. We'll go ahead and just throw on an, an magnet laser let's go ahead and try that right quick i don't know it, you can actually zoom in now with a magnification we're using the mosin so that's pretty neat uh but if you let's say oh i didn't mean to let's say you're getting up close to someone you can use you can switch over to these sites right quick oh that should have hit dude i also really want to try out the uh the laser like how how nice with the oh hold on now how nice with the laser look dude it actually does put like a uh, laser on them that's actually pretty neat got him 
Uh oh, is this guy right here? Dude, and we also got the, uh, the pistol scope, dude. The pistol scope, the everything, or that's what everybody wanted, right? The pistol scope? Yes, that is what we all wanted. <laughs> I don't know, man. This, this pistol scope is really funny to me. Like, it just, it's just so unnecessary, but necessary at the same time, not even gonna lie. Yeah, so as we were saying before, you can actually add uh, attachments to pistols now, so let's just, using the G18, like, you know, you can put on the Coyote Sight, which just looks absolutely ridiculous. You can even put on the, uh, oh my gosh, dude, you can put on the Holographic, at least I didn't actually put on the uh, other one, that would have been dumb, the, uh, the Hybrid Canted Sight. Let's go ahead and just put on a laser right quick and try to use it. I have been told that uh, it's definitely different in terms of, uh, like, the recoil, so we go ahead and shoot right quick. Yeah, you'll notice it continues to climb. We also have horizontal uh, recoil as well now. So that's interesting. Yeah, look at that. That's crazy recoil patterns. Like, if we just keep doing that, look at that. That's crazy. It's not even the same each time, is it? I don't know. You definitely have a lot of a lot of chance added in now. But let's actually see if we can go ahead and get a kill with this bad boy right quick. Dude, finish him off with the G18. Easy dub, dude. Or if you want to aim down. Oh, okay. Hold on. This site's definitely interesting. Okay, let me try to let me try to actually scope it in. I don't know. Scoping seems ridiculous on a pistol. Like absolutely ridiculous, dude. I don't know. This feels so dumb, dude. I'm just <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying to use it. It's just like it just feels weird. I don't know. I could actually dig the scope. Like it's actually doing all right. I mean, the recoil is kind of all over the place if you actually get too far. I wonder what the other attachments are going to be like too. I wonder if they're going to help with like the scope and such like that or the recoil. Get him right quick. I don't know what he was doing with the riot shield. Also, just being in this open area is kind of a death trap. Like, it seems like people can shoot at you from all over directions, man. I mean, attachments definitely do add a little bit more, uh, a little bit more encouraging means to the game to actually grind and play. Wow, that was a hit marker, dude. Imagine. Is that guy way back there? Got the hit marker again, though. All right, something else that I want to try out is the honey badger. So, tons of people have told me to try this out. I did try it out just a little tiny bit. I got just a few kills with it, but we go ho go ahead and go over to attachments. Go ahead and, I don't know, maybe just put, like, the holographic side on. Let's go ahead and just put the, uh, maybe I'll put the flashlight laser on or the, or which one was that? It was this one. Yeah, yeah. We'll go ahead and put the flashpoint laser on. We're going to go ahead and leverage it right quick using the honey badger, dude. Oh, my gosh, that recoil is something else, man. Trying to, trying to leverage this recoil again. Oof. So, guys, just to showcase to you what has happened with this recoil, man, check this out. Oh, my gosh. You literally shoot that far up, and you can keep shooting, right? Like, if we keep going, it keeps just going up and up and up and up. What up, dude? I love how they kill me as I'm trying to demonstrate, but, like, that just even showcases you. Look how long they've been playing. 207 kills, bro. I don't know. It does feel a lot more realistic now. Like, as I'm shooting some of these guns, they do definitely, uh, you know, in inside of actual bad business, there was basically no recoil ever. And now they've actually added it to the weapon, so it does make them feel a little bit more realistic, a little bit more uh, new dynamics of the game. I think they're definitely moving in the, in the correct direction. I think attachments will kind of lively up the game just a little tiny bit more. Sorry about that, buddy. Had to go ahead and get that no scope, though. Wait, what? Missed it? Oh! I don't know, though. Hold on now. Maybe this can be pretty viable. Aw, uh, that was just a hit marker, dude. And then he gets shot. He actually got the headshot on me, though, so he definitely deserved that. There, let's give it a uh, hybrid canted sight as well as a laser flashpoint laser. I'm very curious what uh, what other what or what other like stuff they're gonna come out with. So we're gonna, they're, I would imagine they'd come out with magazine sizes where you could actually increase the magazine size. Like that'd be really cool. Oh my gosh, dude, the recall on this alone makes this very unusable. Wow, you pretty much can only use the canted version of it. So let's go ahead and try that right quick. Wow, that was crazy, dude. I don't know, just scoping in general, using the magnified, it's kind of unbearable. Look at this. Like, you can't hit anything like that, dude. Look at that. Oh, yeah, and the recoil for this gun's also insane. Look at that. Keeps climbing up there, dude. I mean, I guess it's more realistic if you really want to put a name to it, but I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I can, maybe I can get used to this. There's actually people shooting at me everywhere, though. So if we uh, if we run around with just this, how, how viable would this laser be? So that's kind of the idea here. So let's go ahead and do that right quick. Oh my gosh. I mean, I didn't really leverage the laser right then too much, but still though, it can it can absolutely clap, dude. Still one of my favorite SMGs in the game for sure. Go ahead and get that guy right below. I don't know, man. Th this gun still feels very like a very viable weapon for sure. And it actually doesn't have as much recoil as some of the other weapons that we've experienced. Like, look at this. Like, there's definitely a little bit more variability to it. And then, like I said, it does have horizontal recoil now, but I don't know, man. It's still pretty viable. Where's the deagle at? We had the 44 Magnum. Let me go ahead and try out the deagle. Because people have been popping me off of this thing as well. So let's go ahead and go over to attachments. Go ahead and do optics. Go ahead and put on the holographic sykes. We, we got to have... Actually, I might as well just go ahead and put on the coyote. I kind of like the coyote. I don't know which one's actually better. Okay, there we go. I don't know why that first one didn't hit. But, dude, we, we still got it. Ooh, that's a really far shot. Oh, we hit marketed him, though. 
we actually hit market them from that far away so in, th in general guys what is your actual interpretations of this do you guys like where they're going do you like the idea of what attachments are do you like what you see do you like the new map you know give me everything and give me all of your thoughts inside of the uh channel comments i would love to know let me know guys make sure to go ahead and drop a like on this video as well as click subscribe if you haven't already thank you so much for watching and i do hope to see you in the next video i do have a little bit more planned for bb i have some suggested ideas that were actually given to me on discord so once again if you enjoyed discord give me a video idea anything like that will absolutely uh entertain the ideas i'm not i'm not opposed to say but yeah guys appreciate you guys watching see ya